I'm here in my individual capacity as a comrade to support Comrade Jacob Zuma, who has been one of the greatest liberation fighters in South Africa and who made a huge contribution. Tonight, this vigil is organized by various religious organizations and also by many of us as individuals. We believe Comrade Zuma deserves support. I personally believe he deserves support because of his own history as a liberation fighter and hero. But in a personal capacity, when I was in prison as a political prisoner, just as he returned from exile as one of the first leaders that came back from exile, he came to visit me, he gave me support. And why would I not support someone like that in an hour of need when he came to me in my hour of need? I think comradeship is all about that, and that is why I'm here. Uh, just have you spoken to the president recently? Oh yes, I speak to him quite often. I was this last weekend in Kandla, and we didn't really talk that much politics, but we reminisced about the liberation struggle, and we had a very relaxed and happy time together. Uh, just his feelings ahead of this? How do you think he's feeling about proceedings tomorrow? Well, I think he will leave it in the hands of his legal team and also the, what happens with the court and the, the legal uh, system in South Africa. I want to emphasize from my own perspective and I believe from most comrades here, we are not attacking the legal system. We are concerned about the atmosphere in which Comrade Zuma is being charged. There's a long period of almost 15 years of very virulent anti-Jacob Zuma propaganda and media coverage that has taken place. And we believe that's influenced the atmosphere. And we believe that creates a serious challenge to our legal system to be able to give Comrade Zuma a free and fair trial. In fact, we think it's almost impossible, but uh, we put that as a challenge to our legal system and our judges, and we hope that they will, with all sincerity, try to address it.